Working memory functions as a bridge between what we perceive and how we act and behave in the world. Little is known about how working memory emerges as a natural consequence of interactions with the environment. That is, when we use working memory, not because we are told to use it, but because we move around and act on objects surrounding us. We usually require the identity and location information of objects we act on on the fly, because we need it to complete a specific task. In this case, selecting the appropriate pins and placing them at the corresponding locations according to the wardrobe manual. In our experiment, 24 participants copied the model display by selecting the correct objects from a resource pool and placing them into the correct locations in a workspace. Eye movements provided us with a measure of working memory usage during natural behavior. First, objects needed to be encoded. Second, the current object was found and picked up. Before placing that object, we could measure if participants looked at the model again instead of relying on the initially encoded information. We demonstrate that reliance on working memory is low during natural behavior. Even when holding information in mind to guide future behavior is the very essence of the task. In separate conditions, we further varied the model's location, rendering it increasingly difficult to look at from the workspace. This allowed us to quantify whether and how working memory usage emerged when gathering information from the environment became increasingly effortful. Under low locomotive demands, participants typically relied on only one feature in memory and preferred to sample information externally just before it was required. As searching for objects externally increased in effort, working memory usage increased in a shallow and linear fashion. The reliance on working memory was surprisingly low, even in the most effortful case. Even then, most often, participants carried only two features in memory. Our findings highlight the importance of using immersive tasks to understand how cognitive processes unfold within natural behavior. Specifically, here we found a striking difference between what we may expect from lab-based capacity estimates of working memory and what people actually seem to be using in natural behavior.